Every once in a while, or if you're lucky, once a day or a few hours, something or someone connects with you. You must have heard about the disastrous earthquake that struck Haiti and people just pulling bodies out of rubble to free people and getting them the precious supplies that they deserve and they need for human survival. That story really connects with me. Another headline to that story, an engaged Maple Grove, Minnesota couple donates their money for the reception dinner to Haiti Relief. Guests who attended the Bogan Nicholson wedding dined on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for their meal. The couple was eating breakfast one morning, chatting about wedding planning and all of that when reading about the devastation in Haiti. The difference between the haves and the have-nots was never more apparent to the bride. She, along with her fiance, made the decision right then to donate her reception dinner monies, $2,500, to Partners in Health, an organization providing disaster relief to Haiti. What can you do? Who can you impact? This story goes far beyond Haiti, Hurricane Katrina, or even 9-11. While it would be nice, you don't have to give $2,500 to have an impact on people's lives. My good friend and fellow columnist at Disc Jockey News, Dave Windsor, makes an impact on other people's lives as a morning show host and radio and as a wedding entertainer, or by just simply being himself. I met him for lunch one day on a trip back home to my state of Maine with my wife and two children. Dave had to duck out of lunch early to get back to work and upon asking the waitress for our bill, I discovered that Dave had gone ahead and paid for my family and I. What a nice gesture. He goes out of his way to make life better for others. You can too. What we're really talking about here, one simple concept, caring. Let's face it, life happens. Things aren't always going to go your way in business. We're always on stage in business. We may have had a bad day, maybe just got into a disagreement with your significant other. Any number of things could have gone wrong. When that phone call comes in, you turn to greet that next person making a request, stop. Take one second, focus your energies back to caring about that one problem, that one request from that person. Don't forget, there is a person on the other end of that phone line or that email you're communicating with. By genuinely caring for your fellow man or woman, you will help establish that connection and become a person like Dave who makes a positive difference in the lives of others. In the article, the groom stated, I don't think I've ever given more than $50 to anything. It's a great way to start our relationship. It's a great gesture to say, this is what we want to do. This is who we are for the rest of our lives. The inward thinking is how it affects their wedding day, which is but an hour of dinner to approximately 200 people. Outwardly, their decision has a dramatic effect on the lives of possibly thousands of people. How can you make an outward change? How can you do something that will affect your business and your fellow man positively? That is the real question.